Hey, Internet. This is kind of awkward. It's officially Warp Tour season. If you don't know what Vans Warp Tour is, let me quickly fill you in. Vans Warp Tour is basically a tour festival type of thing that happens in the US and Canada. It's all summer long. It's about 50 plus bands play and there's like a bunch of different stages and all day it's a giant festival that travels across the country though. So every day they're at a different city. It's fucking amazing. You get to see tons of bands, you get to meet them, there's signings, there's not just bands, there's a bunch of merch tents, things like that. It's an amazing day and I'm gonna break it down for you how to survive Warp Tour. I have been going since 2008. I know a thing or two about Warp Tour. If you can see behind me, this is my Warp Tour board that I make every summer with my expo board that I thought I would share with you guys. It's, in my opinion, a great way to organize yourself and your money for Warp Tour because heaven knows, Warp Tour can be expensive. When you're going to Warp Tour, chances are you have a date in mind at which you want to go. I am going to either Buffalo or Scranton. I usually go to both, but I don't know if I'm going to both this year, so if you're going to either of those dates, you'll probably see me. Ticket price can vary depending on the place. The first thing you want to do when figuring out if you're going to Warp Tour is figuring out who you're going to go with, because chances are you don't want to go alone. You might end up alone at the show, which is totally fine, totally fun, but you don't want to travel there alone because you're going to be tired, sweaty, and gross. When you get out of there, you are going to feel and smell like a dumpster. That it's it literally an emotional state after Warp Tour. One year, I remember, we got in the car and we all smelled like an accumulation of the garbage behind a McDonald's. And I had the, the worst migraine of my life because I only had one cup of coffee that day. You want to make sure you have at least, you know, a handful of people going with you. I always go with a couple of my friends. The reason I suggest you find people to go with is because it makes it cheaper for you. When you drive with somebody, when you carpool, you're breaking down the gas price. That's the first thing I have listed up here, is gas. If you're gonna carpool with somebody, split gas. Even if you don't want to or that's not something you usually do, it's just kind to offer gas money to whoever's driving. I don't know how old you are, if a parent has to drive you or whatnot, but basically, throw gas money. If this is your first year going to Warp Tour, chances are you're, you're gonna wanna buy a lot of merch. If you haven't seen the merch already, most people post it all over the place. Absolute Punk, I think that's the website, always has not only the merch, but the set lists. So you want to check those out. They're also on PuffFresh.com, which is a Tumblr. You should follow them. PuffFresh is literally where I go for all of my music news. I wish I had a hookup with them, but I don't. Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, bands, Instagram, everything. Along the lines of merch and Instagram, one of the things you should do is if you don't have Twitter, get Twitter. Bands will tweet where their tent is, when their signings are, things like that. Almost every band has a signing. I've never been to a Warped Tour having a band, you know, not have a signing. It's it's not something that happens. Some signings you need bracelets for or you need to pay for, I think. I've never been to a paid signing. But my first year going to Warped Tour, so follow bands on Instagram, Twitter. You want to know what's happening. You don't want your phone to die, though. That's another thing. If that's your only source for a camera, bring a phone charger. There are always outlets and places to charge phones. There are even some tents where you can charge your phone. The next thing we need money for is food. Basically, some venues don't have food. Bring money for food. At least $20. You have to eat during the day because I'm going to be real with you for a moment. You will die at work door. People die. It happens. Every year, someone dies from dehydration, from being stomped all over the place during a mosh pit, things like that. One side note is that Warped Tour has officially changed the rules that if you mosh or crowd surf, you will get kicked out because people get hurt, it's crazy. The next thing you should have money for is a hotel if you need one. You should look into it now. Look into it right now. Stop the video, go look, then come back to finish this. I mentioned the ticket already, but I'll say it again. Make sure you have money for your ticket. If you don't buy it at home and print it out, or if you haven't already bought it, you can buy it at the gates usually. Warp Tour cannot sell out. It is not possible. I've never heard of Warp Tour selling out. Here's why. It is outside. So on this side of my board, I have the things that you should bring and bands you should see. Now my bands isn't full yet because I just started this board this morning when I woke up an hour ago. But not just for this video, but because I actually needed to get a jump on this because Warp Tour is really creeping up on me. The things you need to bring to Warp Tour are pretty simple. I don't have everything listed here, but just a general example. Except not an example, this is serious. One of the things I forgot to write down is a poncho because it will rain. Basically, one of the things I always carry at Warp Tour is a backpack. If you are going with a group of friends and only one of you wants to bring a backpack, do it. I always tell my friends if they're gonna put their merch in my bag, then they're carrying my bag. So what you're gonna put in that backpack? Sunglasses, sunblock, a camera if you really want a camera, a water bottle. Something that Warp Tour does every year, and I hope they're doing it this year. If it's not through this company, I apologize. 
Clean Canteen. It's a company that they do every year with Warp Tour. It's a giant bus, and you get to refill your water bottle for free. You can even buy bottles there. Now at Warp Tour, the general rule is that you can bring in two unopened bottles. You will be thirsty all the time. It's gonna happen. The bigger the water bottle, the better off you'll be, but bring one. No, you have to. Like, this isn't a joke. You have to bring one. Money. Something I always recommend when it comes to bringing money into Warp Tour is to always bring an extra $20 and leave it in your car. Because you never know if your bag is going to get stolen, broken, and everything's going to fall out. You never know what's going to happen to you while you're inside. You need money in your car in case of an emergency. At least $20. Bring your ticket. Once you get scanned in or whatnot, boom. You're good. You're gonna wanna bring your cell phone and a phone charger. Earplugs. Earplugs help you hear. They're good to just have. Extra shirt slash tank top. You're gonna end up buying one, but it's nice to have one in the car. It's nice to have one in your backpack because it could rain. You could literally get so sweaty you hate yourself. Be prepared. The last thing that I don't have is a poncho because it could rain. There's other stuff you should bring. It depends on your date. It depends what you're doing. So I just wanna quickly talk about what actually happens when you get to work tour. They're gonna bag check you. Most venues bag check. They're going to bag check you. They're going to tell you you're not allowed to bring in anything that isn't water. No Sharpies. You cannot bring in Sharpies. Have you snuck in Sharpies? You can't bring in Sharpies. Bands will have them. So when you get there, if you're waiting for the gates, sometimes there's bands out there promoting themselves. If you watch the documentary No Room for Rockstars, this is a great representation of bands that follow Warp Tour to sell you CDs. It's hard to say no to these bands, but you do it anyway. I feel awful for these bands, and I, they generally sometimes are really good, but they're taking money from Warp Tour, they're taking money from you. They don't have to be there. They are for whatever reason that they choose. I don't have to give you my money. I will support you if I like you. I'm sorry. Chances are when you get there, people are gonna be giving away free shit. You can talk, always get free shit at Warp Tour. Every year I get a bag from a, a label of some sort with stickers in it, and and brochures, promotion, things like that, sometimes a CD sampler. You're always gonna get that free shit. Put it in your bag or use that as your bag. When the gates open, flooding happens. Fans always start around noon. What you wanna do, the first place you wanna go, unless you're going to the Vans Warped Tour tent where you say the promo word and get free shit, go to the inflatable. Buy a map, buy a list of the bands and times, or write them down. I always write them down off the inflatable. Somebody in my group buys a list. The inflatable is a giant ass inflatable fucking huge that tells you every stage in every time and then the bands are in the middle it changes every day you can't look and see oh the story so far plays at 7 p.m on this stage in in california so therefore they're gonna play it in buffalo it's not how it works it changes every day their signings change every day next thing you're gonna want to do after you do that is either establish yourself at a stage to find your first band or try to get a feel for the place if this is your first year you're gonna want to walk around get used to it there's always free food like peace tea was there last year crave was there tons of stuff warp tour is fun now i know this is a lot of information to take in and there's so much more that i could talk to you about these are just the general basics a couple quick words about warp Tour. Don't try to fight a bitch. Don't. It's not even worth it. You will get hurt. Somebody will get hurt. Somebody will probably be smoking pot in your general vicinity. You will see scary people. I'm not gonna lie to you. People may look scary, but looks don't beat anything. The last thing is to have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not living. It's Warp Tour. If you fuck up this year, you can just go next year. I hope that these tips and money tricks and whatnot help you. If you want to talk more about Warp Tour, feel free to comment or email me. My email is coffee with Emily at gmail.com. If you want to talk more about Warp Tour, you need tips and advice. There's stuff all over the internet. I've been going for quite a while. Some people just kind of throw this information out there after going for a year. No. You really want to get a hold of Warp Tour? You're going to have to go a couple times. So I hope you have fun. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Chances are when I go to Warp Tour, I'll be filming it. Have an excellent Monday and week. And have an excellent summer at Warp Tour. Peace out. I just... <clears throat> I also wanted to quickly say thank you so, so much for watching my short film, Living With Depression. It is officially over a thousand views on YouTube. I mean, I'm freaking out. That's so amazing. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so just, that's amazing. I am working on my next short film. I'm currently trying to write it right now. So, oh my God, thank you so much everyone who's watched it and subscribed. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Yeah.